As designers, it's important to be aware of the principles of 3D space, even when working with 2D mediums, because that's the way we perceive the world around us. Today, we'll be looking at the visual rules in our 3D world and how to translate them into 2D design. After this, we'll look at how to intentionally and consciously break some of those rules and how it can create intriguing stylized motion design. So what does it mean to design in 3D anyway? Well, to explain, we have to work our way up. Let's take a dot and extrude it outwards. We have a line, a one dimensional asset because it only allows for one axis of movement. And then if we extrude this line sideways, then we have a plane, a 2D form, a flat surface, so now we can start talking about 2D shapes, forms, and patterns. And if we extrude outwards again, we have a mass. Now we can start talking about volumes, voids, even textures and haptic qualities, which all reside within 3D. Now it's possible to take these principles of the 3D world and translate them into 2D media. A photo or film being clear examples of this. And there's a number of principles to apply to do this. Let's take a look at some of them. Objects closer to the viewer appear bigger. And when we move them further away, they appear smaller. We call this perspective. And when we look to medieval art, we see some rather distorted perspectives. Intuitively, we know when something's not right. In the 15th century, Brunelleschi demonstrated how perspective works through an experiment with a mirror with a small hole. And during the Renaissance, we saw a great development in perspective. Raphael used vanishing points to guide the focus in art. The rate at which objects grow or shrink can suggest a sense of space and the speed of the viewer or the object. Lighting and shadow and refraction bring depth to an image by replicating the real 3D world. Space can only be identified by mass, therefore ever interconnected. For example, an interior space or void is defined by the walls or mass that outlines the volume. With today's technological advancements, we can create stunning visuals which are almost indistinguishable from real life. But realism is not essential when creating a sense of 3D space. We can break the rules through visual license. We just have to be intentional or consistent with how we do this. In fact, when we push the limits of 3D and distort certain rules, that's when we can find some of the most engaging artistic expressions. Of all 2D artists, motion designers perhaps have the most advantage when it comes to manipulating these qualities and still retaining a sense of 3D space. That's because of the fundamental forces of time and motion. Let's look at a few motion designers that push the limit of 3D and still establish a sense of mass, volume and space. Here's Strange Beasts with their campaign for Travel Portland. They use a 3D animation style, realistic shading and lighting, but practically no perspective and disregarding cues of size and distance. It really catches our attention and in some ways creates a sense of enclosure. In this amazing animation, the artist chooses to avoid real world shading and forms, but relies on movement and scale to suggest space. The result is a truly eye-catching visual experience and placing emphasis on form and motion. And finally, here's Mixcode's Very Crazy Works, which disregards light and shadow for the most part, and even creates distorted, surreal scenes by using motion. We live in a 3D world, and when designing for this world, we have to be aware of the principles we rely on to interpret it. Understanding some of the principles of 3D design can really add a whole new dimension to the way we design and create.